So we are here. Move and stop, and then stop, stop. And you don't have to do the transition from here. The next move is here, next move is here, next move is here. Next move is here. How you get there does not matter. Now you know if you try to copy the shape. And the next one is here. And now you know you have here and here. When you connect them, we always commit a mistake of, and it, you don't know where you are anymore. You're just trying to do this. See, this is the, this is the posture. And this is the posture. You see this posture here? Then from there, this is the posture. And then this is the posture. This is the posture. And this is the posture. This is the posture. So those must be shown. So you went like this. So, so this posture was not there. It has to be here, then move to the middle. And then it's here. Then it's here. I'll go this way here. When you are here, one, two, three. You missed all those. And then you can turn. Once you know the choreography, you will be corrected according to application. The application will actually give you further instructions on the choreography. So you missed this move here. When you step up and punch, this punch is you're holding something, and then your two hands are almost together, and this punch has to be a tear. You have this move here is you actually can do this to show. You're touching, then you're going. You see here, you tear it. Yeah, <laughs> the tearing is not. You're punching. There's a difference between punching and tearing. You use your right hand to hold, left hand to hold hard, right hand to tear it. Yours is more like a punch. Left hand had to be very strong. Yeah, feel the difference? Good. Okay, continue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, Alex, I don't know what you did the last uh, few days or weeks. This is actually the first time your form is starting to sort itself out. Before, your form was always you were too busy, and there is no firmness in your body. You're just making moves like this. You're, you're just making a lot of moves. But now you have a feeling of firmness, a structure. And you need to express a lot of that, get into that feeling that you are doing. It's like a performing mode. You are performing. It's not just like, like this here. You want to show. You want to show. <laughs> you want to show. So you understand that now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, continue until this stays in your body. It does not go back to your old way. Okay, next person. Oh, Feng Sheng Hui, okay. <coughs> okay, stop. 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 Uh, uh, you were too careful. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Uh, can, can other people hear me? You were too careful. Okay. Too careful. The, uh, <coughs> let me give you some examples. The first time, if you never had a baby before, uh, can other people hear me? It's really You're needed. Very blurry. Very very weak audio. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, hi. Oh, I think that the sound comes from the computer, not from your oh. mic. Okay, let me. Oh, maybe can you check the uh, uh, 
Alan, can you check the audio here? This had three. Uh, oh, yeah, it still has three? I'll check if I can see that high. Uh, but when it started, it was three. Oh. Can you hear me? That's better. Still, still different from before. It's better. But, it, but still not good. Oh, yes. no, good. That's good. Good now. Okay, we have it there? We've got two. We got two bars. Uh, it's not the same as before. <laughs> I think your recording may not have audio. Uh, no, my recording actually uh, has audio. Uh, can you push the re push this button again also? Which one? The recording one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the uh, recording one's on this side. Oh, no, 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 no. One of the things in the future, when you reach a very high level, your opponent can fight back because you are not fighting him. You are using every move he makes to fight himself. So right now, you are on the soft side. You are too careful. You are not expressing your own. And this is very difficult. I'm just verbally explaining it. The idea is that wherever you touch your opponent, there is no expression of power. Your expression of power is only from your joints. Now remember, you never touch your opponent with your joints. You only touch your opponent with your surface. Joints are called hidden surfaces. The joints are not surfaces you can use. They only work. And the work of the joints will only express on surfaces. And the surfaces do not fight. Yeah, this is number three. So stop on three. Your rear, your rear arm, look at mine. I'll give you different angles. Oh, this jacket is really no good. It's, it bleeds into everything. You see my arm here? Your arm is like this. Your arm is, this is a problem. Many of you still have straightened arms. I don't have that straightened arm. It's always a curvature. So from here, now I use this to explain to you what I said earlier. If I move my hand, my opponent will feel that I'm rough. I only move the joints. Can you see? At the beginning, the joints will wobble. It's like your box spring. The springs did not line up. And when you push on them, they are all over the place. Eventually, they line up. And it feels like the hand is moving. So all of those things I explained earlier, it comes down to the outside does not move, only move the inside. You're this big here. It's just so difficult compared to this here. It's here, so you have to go like this. And now, can you see this? You're going to fall down if you flow. Now you have to adjust. And now you're here. Rubber, like on your car, the tire, it has a give, but it's not soft. So every move you have to, you can't move because the lock is so hard. You, you can only pull on the joints until the power expresses on your hand. So right now, you have this easy move. So all your moves link back to your hand. It's all lost. A white crane, once you are here, imagine you are trapped. Somebody, there are four people giving you bear hugs. It's not possible to get up. So you have to gather yourself and push from inside. It's even here, there are still people pushing you down. It's not, it's not going to be that easy. You have to use your quad, your elbow, and your, your shoulder here to uh, here. So now you understand? Yeah. Every move you imagine, the outside pressure is 51. You only have 49. And you have to not move. Move from inside and break, break until you reach 50, and then wiggle a little bit. When you reach 50 and your opponent has 50, then you need to wiggle a little bit to gain the advantage. But you always believe you start with your opponent overpowering you. Every move has to be, let's say this here, imagine there is weight on it, and this is the most inefficient lever. It's not possible to move this hand. If there is weight on it, it's very difficult. So you have to shrink, 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 go like this, and then can you see power from inside? You, it's just not possible to do this. So at this level, just to remember, everything outside of you is a, is a compression. Everything presses on you. You have to fight back from the inside pushing out. The outside is too inefficient to move. 
So make that imagination when you do the form. It immediately slows you down. Then you realize that every move is a breaking out move. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, try to make it. Uh, you, you see, that's why when I do the form, when I teach and I demonstrate, I use a sound, facial expression, and physical moves to demonstrate that's what I mean. That's why I, I, in order to express, this is your opponent is fighting you hard. I go, and that's telling yourself, don't take it so easily. Because otherwise you just think, well, what's, what's wrong? And it's very easy, I can do that. Okay. See this move here? When you pull here, this pull has to be fast, and your, this pull jerks your opponent towards you. When he comes towards you, you put this right in his crotch. When his body goes like this, and you put your hand in his crotch, then switch it, then throw him. Make a stop, then put your foot here, and then go. You see the twist? And then stop, you're here and twist and now when you are here stop push and then jump come back here stop and make the move and then here so this way every move especially the step back here you went to the place, but this is the place where you do this. You just went like this, fist and your elbow. So now the front hand is here. When you go like this, can you see it folds towards here? And then this one goes up here, here, and go a little bit into position. This is the position you can fight. This position you can't fight anymore. This position is too small, right here. Then from there, you use your shoulder elbow claw to open it. And then, is that what you are looking for? Yes, thank you. I'll do it again on this side. Maybe diagonally for you to see. 